Hey guys, Brian here from Intune Marine. I'm here with Dan. We have a real special treat for you today. I think it's gonna be one of the sexiest Vexus DVX 22s you've ever seen in your entire life. I've never seen this many options on a boat. I kinda of wanted to walk around the boat with Dan, get a feel, show you guys what everything that Dan had in store for this boat. It's incredibly special. Let's go take a look. So Dan, I guess when we first spoke, obviously we had kind of expectations for this. Kind of, obviously we could start at the back and work towards the front of the boat. I mean, this thing has everything. Uh, if, if you don't mind, it would be great sure. if we just kind of walk through the boat here. Well, you've been great to work with Brian. Obviously I'm not the easiest customer. I knew what I wanted. Um, and uh, I knew a lot of the things I was asking for weren't options that were currently available, and I know you went out of your way for me to appreciate that. So thank you. I guess probably what stands out the most, in my what? opinion, what is, is this? Is the 400R. Um, something I really wanted. Kind of a speed nut, uh, prop guy. Uh, I know you spent a lot of time getting that approved for me. And then the other thing that I wanted different, I didn't want the Atlas, I wanted the Bobs. Uh, so we got the Bobs jack plate on the back. Got the 15 EFI kicker, but on the kicker, I'm a I'm a walleye guy, um, so I'm a big fan of the Garmin uh, autopilot system. So this has the new uh, electric version, the, the uh, Reactor 40 uh, autopilot kicker, so I can control the kicker with the remote control. It'll steer me in one direction, control my throttle. So this is yeah. this is something that you don't see a lot of. Um, actually, this was only the first boat that I'd ever. I mean, I'd heard of it, but I'd never seen it on a boat. I mean. From your experience, Dan, was this a game changer for oh, what's out there? Yeah, and I had the, the previous version on my last two boats, the TR1. Uh, if, if you're fishing with with uh, the tournament fishing or fishing with my kids, you know, yeah, it's, it's it doesn't sit by the steering wheel. It does everything for you. It, uh, I always call it the happy puppy because the motor sits in the back and just wags its tail. So, uh, works great. You can run them off the, the uh, bow mount, but uh -huh. you get in heavy waves. This will actually keep the boat straight because you're using the kit. And you, I don't want to, I don't want to jump ahead yeah. here, but you actually mounted your remote right there, right on the side there by yeah. the by the remote throttle there. All right, so we'll kind of walk around here. So yeah. you you went with a couple of different small track systems here in the yep, back. Yeah, yeah, and there's a few more that'll get added that are sitting in the shop at home. Uh, so yeah, I got a 16 live on the back. Uh, I really like how. It was kind of yourself and us, a little bit of both here, uh, kind of specialty rigging this boat here. You did some cool stuff I really want to show everybody. But back here, how how clean that looks. We actually have a Humminbird side imaging transducer, a Lowrance on the bottom there. And then this, um, yeah. I just thought this was the coolest thing ever, Dan. Uh, yeah, I wanted all my electronics to, to uh, have the best chance they, they could for clearing crystal clear imaging so I, I did a bunch of rewiring so everything is uh, uh to, to right here yeah yep. yep so and i got every all the electronics have taken off the boat system itself so they're all on 10 heavy gauge marine wire they have their own shut off um so and nothing. just every just everything it's yeah. right just everything on here is just completely custom and which is really hard to do yeah. on a vexus i mean but uh, uh yeah so every all the main power here back to the switch and then relocating the charger right outside there oh just gorgeous and i opted to do the power pull charge system we got lithiums in the boat power pull charge um, yeah, so hopefully i have enough juice to run all this stuff <laughs> right yeah so um so first thing that i think i notice immediately is the the push button to start the engine is relocated there and dan why why do you have a hole right there and why is that well moved? um because of the garmin reactor 40 it needs a helm control system so um, where the, the vacant hole is right now, there will be a four inch LCD screen that, that runs uh, um, the autopilot system. Uh, that just needs to go on yet when I get back to the shop. So. Okay. And, and then also, you ran the Mercury vessel view yep. to your Hummingbird, I believe? Nope, that was going to the Lorance. Oh, no, the Lorance, yeah. we'll end up, there'll be uh, three Lorances on the boat. We got the 12 at the dash, 16 back here. There's another 12 live one at the bow. But I, we also uh, have the Sonic Hub system. Yep. Um, and I That's opted, mounted right under here, right? Yep. yep. And then I opted to not use the Lowrance speakers this time, so I put kicker speakers in there. And then I added another, found a box, uh, a Fusion 
uh, box with subwoofer that fits underneath the step. So it should have a pretty good sound system in it. Uh, it it'll also have the Cirrus uh, uh, modular with the weather as well. So. I like I like where you positioned your uh, your point one there. You said that that was the best location that you found playing yeah. around with the yeah. Yeah. and it should be right on top of the almost right on top of the blast and transducer. So awesome. So it's blast in hummingbird 2D and the Lawrence 2D yeah. through hole. And then also this is another thing because this again just so many custom items here on this boat. Uh, you got the boat buckles up yeah. on the top. Yep. So well that way my uh, the tournament partner uh, doesn't have to try to run his poles up to the front when we move. Laying right on the back deck here, buckling down. Same thing with with long trolling rods. So. Try to make sure as we move forward, I'm no. not missing anything. So. We're well, there's a few things missing. Like I, I opted to uh, to go with uh, wave pros yes. instead of what they came with. So yeah. you know, there'll be a set of wave pros uh, for both passenger and uh, drivers. So. And, and then uh, I see I see that we so we ordered the boat or you ordered the boat yeah. without rails. So are you yeah. going to be doing a track system yeah. back there? Yeah, I got uh, 48 inch tracks that are going back there. I'm actually having a custom shop make wedges so I can scoot them farther back since there's a radius to the to the top of the gun. That's very important because they start to slide. So that that is yeah. a really good call out. And then you got some, some, yeah. some so. shorties right here. No. And then uh, kind of moving up to the front here. So obviously you have a another. Solix up here. Yep, there'll be another 12 live up there. Another 12 live. Yep. So why did you just, so everybody understands here, why did you end up getting a track right there? And that's the Vex's dual bracket mount there. Yeah, so I, I just wanted to get that one up higher and then it's a little bit easier to pop it up when you're going down the road. So, so just like the 16 in the back, yeah. you're going to have that same mount. It'll be another that. Cisco mount there for the 12. Okay, so. very cool. And then I put the new uh, cornfield crappie uh, motorized mount you know I got the so this is really cool though because there there's a lot of companies aftermarket companies trying to do this stuff but that's the only one that when you're on spotlight will that actually look straight ahead it's not gonna you can move it yeah it's got its own foot pedal again if you can see it right here and it's also got a remote control as well so yeah I can sit on spot lock or have the motor pointed any direction or I want and still be able to turn that any direction looking for fish so pretty special so why that's been a common thing talking to a lot of talk, talking to a lot of multi-species anglers. Why the Altrex versus what we've seen the Tarova and the Altera? Yeah, and I've had Altera on my last three boats, but uh, the main reason was for this, so I could put that mount on there. I didn't want to have the the pole and have to. I, I like to. I'm from South Dakota, so we do a lot of casting in the shallow water, right. almost like you bass guys. Right. We won't hold that again. <laughs> uh, but that way, I can I can cast and not have to constantly stop and use my hand to move the. And that and that is a good call out. I mean, regarding the all tracks, I mean, you can only get it up to a 60 inch, but 60 inch is going to suffice for 97 percent of the fishing that you're going to be doing. And you're automatically going to get the stabilizer arm on on the all tracks. And then when you're adding Mega Live or Active Target or, or Live Scope or any of these aftermarket 360 type items, it's very very easy to add to the all tracks. It's pretty much made for that. So we're seeing a big trend going that way. And before we move on, the, the, the last thing, that color is not a Vex's color. No, that is not. We spent a lot of time. It's it's similar, but no, this is a, a Mercedes AMG color. Let's get this in the mm. sun. It's, yeah. it's just gorgeous. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. I think so. I think yeah. so. Well, I'm excited. Uh, I know you're a, you're a prop guy. I'm excited. I think everybody out there is going to be incredibly excited to see what is this boat going to do well, with guess, one of Dan's custom props. We're going to find out hopefully <laughs> this weekend or next weekend. So awesome. I, I would I would assume that she'll go over 70 pretty easy, but you know, the guy doesn't know until you get it out there. We so. promise you'll get back to us and let us know. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I'll try to send you videos. So. Awesome. Well, Dan, I, I cannot thank you enough All for right. being part of such a special project is yeah. this has got to be the most extravagant vexus I've, i think we've ever seen ever well, I hope so. on earth i ain't gonna uh, try to top it <laughs> <laughs> right oh, well again thank you so much we we really appreciate you and your business uh this means a lot to us we live and breathe fishing here at intune marine so check us out intunemarine.com we'll see you at the lake guys thank you so much